Uh, greetings, family. This is Bomani Tayamba. Welcome to our Africa Tour Conference Call for Sunday, May 24th. And uh, this is for our all of our tours, Senegal, the Gambia, South Africa, and Ghana. And just want to give everyone a quick update, and then we'll just go more into the conference topic. Uh, so our Senegal and Gambia tour has been rescheduled from April 3rd to July 24th. So that is the next tour that we're doing uh, to Africa. And our Ghana schedule for May 24th has been rescheduled to December for December 24th to January 5th. Uh, so I have everyone in those groups on WhatsApp and the goal is to post information. Uh, we don't do a lot of conference call, but um, I try to send information ahead of time and that's the perfect time to ask questions and also the WhatsApp chat is perfect for that also and all updates are posted on there. Uh, so that's the best way to uh, keep up. So, uh, so since the Ghana tour is pushed to December, throughout the summertime I'll be working on all of the coordinating the reschedule because I sent over Delta our schedule and gave them their new dates and I already had a tour for that date so kind of working it out since they say they weren't able to merge the two different uh, contracts or, or group booking. So I'll be following up with them to make sure that everyone that's confirmed and traveling with us uh, still, the tickets and everything is reorganized for those dates and routes look about the same. And then we'll get to the point where we get everybody access to the flight itinerary. And then you can you know, check to make sure everything looks good. Uh, so it's a few different things going to be going on. But the main situation right now is for us to go to Senegal and the Gambia July 24th uh, in approximately two months. And then once we finish that, is to come back and work on our South Africa journey. So those three journeys are a go. And unless something happens in the next week or so, we'll find out what's going on for July. But we all have tickets for July and um, just waiting for a few things to open back up. And the main thing is for the Paris airport to open up since we are flying through Paris to get to uh, Senegal. And the same thing with um, you know, Ghana, we're flying through Amsterdam. And uh, to get to South Africa is a direct flight from Atlanta. Anything changes, uh, the first thing I would do is you know, send emails and send updates in our WhatsApp chat. So I've, every once in a while, just uh, you know, check the chat to see if anything is being posted. And if anyone have any questions at any moment and need an immediate update, you can send me a separate um, you know, message on WhatsApp. And I'll look at those messages all throughout the day so you'll get a direct response. And then you can also send uh, via email. Anyone that's traveling with us and is not in a WhatsApp group, you can always send me a message somehow, uh, especially if you're on WhatsApp, and I'll add you to that group. And that's the best we can kind of do to kind of keep up with everyone. It's one of those business where you're flown with information and sometimes things are lost in emails. But as far as this conference call uh, email, it's um, something I send out ahead of time and I also post the links in these different uh, chats. Uh, that way you can click on it and open up. And for those who want to either call in or log in, all of the information is right there. So it kind of throws me off when individuals tell me they can't log in and they can't do certain things because it offers you a phone number to call in or it offers you to download the app to join the meeting. Uh, so these are also things that we can do ahead of time before the call so we can know that it works versus when the call is in session. All right, so I was distracted by a few messages uh, while I was trying to get this thing going. So uh, those who miss it, you know, I'll do my best to edit the recording uh, since I don't like to give out raw recordings because there's too much junk in it a lot of times. And sometimes it may take a while, maybe a week or so, based on whatever work is going on. All right, so um, scrolling down the newsletter, um, you see a few of our previous uh, groups uh, to Africa. Uh, so what I have here is say join us on the next uh, conference call. So that's um, today, May 24th, and the next one is set for July 12th, um, literally 12 days before we go to Senegal and the Gambia. And then you scroll down some more, and that's the dial-in number for the conference call. You see some more groups. Let's go down a little bit more. What you see is the conference call recordings. 
every single conference call I've done over the years, um, including the last one, it's on that link. Once you click on it, it'll just load up, and then you can just listen to recording. But all of those things are there for documentation purpose. And then once you listen to the call, if you have any questions, anything you want to talk about, just definitely just uh, reach out to me. All right, so since I mentioned all tours ago, so we're always accepting deposits uh, for all Africa tours. And uh, there's a link to payment options, so you can be clear on payment options. Also, once you uh, scroll down, what I have is a list of the tours that we have going. Uh, Senegal and Gambia, tour July 24th to August 3rd, 2020. So that's the link right there. Once you click on that link, it opens up and brings up a list of articles, tour overview, general terms, which has a cancellation and a refund policy, uh, which is very important that everyone reads before they pay any money or they commit to any journey. Any type of business I do, just like any other uh, serious business people, there's always that policy. And that's what you go by when people make decisions based on whatever their situation is. Uh, to, so to keep it organized and keep it professional, we just go by that. So it's um, you know written in stones. And if there's something coming up and you want to reschedule, you want to do certain things, email or call me and we'll work it out. Uh, it's one of those situations where you're trying to work out things as best as possible. And unfortunately, the last two journeys we have had, we have to, we have had to reschedule it uh, based on the stupidity that's going on in the world where the geniuses of the world just decided that they need to shut down every country, uh, which I've never seen them do that in my lifetime. Some people may have seen that um, that are a lot older than me. But uh, nevertheless, it's stupidity and it's irresponsible. And it's not anything that's going to save anyone, um, as you can see already. Uh, so whatever these uh, jokers or jackasses are planning, I'm hoping that they finish up with it because they're destroying their own business enterprises. The aviation and airline industry is an elite enterprise, and it's dominated by mainly just white airlines, uh, Air France, KLM, Delta Airlines, you know, some of the companies we use. With. So... I'm hoping that everyone, all of these folks, to get to their sense because unfortunately we as the people don't have any power to do anything other than just kind of flow with the stupidity. Scroll down some more, you see the South Africa Roots and Culture Tour, November 20 to 30th. And once you click on the link, the same thing too, the tour overview, general terms, itinerary. And the best thing that I always recommend, and it's on every single one of these links, is basically uh, improving your immune system. And then we have Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, December 24th to January 5th. So on a previous email that was sent out, but once you click on it, it loads up and you'll see all of the schedule, quote-unquote, itinerary. And then uh, we scroll down to the Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour, April 2nd to the 12th, 2021. So these are all schedules that are active. And then we'll do the same thing that we've been doing. Uh, just adjusting, but um, not going to let these fools destroy our business that we've worked very hard to build to where we can have a nice connection to Africa, to where we're doing uh, beyond tours, we're doing investment, and we're planning out things for our future as a people so we can live and do business on the African continent and be able to control more of our destiny and be able to offer people opportunities and offer connections for those who may want to retire or want to do certain things. Once you're on the website, africafordafricans.org, uh, one of the things you're going to see is Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. That's a community exclusively for Ghana, and it's on the itinerary. And it's something we have a separate group that we're working with. Some people that are traveling with us are part of that group, and some are not. And some people will be able to see what we're working on. Uh, but anyone that's ever interested, they just have to read the details 100% from first article to last article, which is what I recommend to everyone that's doing any kind of business with someone like myself. Read everything that's there on the website. It's 100% clear for the purpose of clarity. That way we don't have to uh, you know, go back and forth to any situation. And I mention that because over the years, you know, you have certain situations with individuals who the first thing they say is that I didn't know that the deposit is not non-refundable. I didn't know that you need a visa to go to the country. I didn't know that, you know, and then that's what you hear. I don't know. Let's be mature adults and mature people and be clear on information before we make commitments. And that's something I always recommend to everyone. And I even go as far as to tell everyone, um, check the person out and their business and see the record of what they're doing. 
and then also turn around and compare it to what else is out there in the world. That way we're doing our just diligence and just do to be clear. And that way when you're talking and connecting with the person, we can really move forward as a professional operation. Uh, it's just like one of the rules I always have is that if you travel with me, I ask, you know, same as I'm going to give you the ultimate respect as a human being and a, as a person. And if I have any issues with anyone, I'm going to call you or talk to you. And we just talk direct in whatever minor situations we work out and we move forward as a people. No one is ever going to agree with everything all the time. And if you travel with me and you have an issue with a room or issue with a tour guide or issue with another person, let's talk. The worst thing anyone can do is be at a breakfast table or a lunch table gossiping about other people or talking bad about myself and things like that, completely unprofessional. So that's why we have the general terms and that's why we have a preparation departure list. That way everyone can be clear on these things. That way we can all come together and have the best time um, of our lives. And I spend a lot of time putting together the structure of all of this, working with our partners in different countries so we can have a great experience as black people. Uh, because this is designed for us. A lot of times we work hard and not much is designed for us. Uh, so this is a dedication from me, your brother, to literally share and make sure that I accommodate everyone to the highest level. But I also want to let everyone know, be realistic. What you see on that itinerary is what you get. Uh, you may see four-star hotel in South Africa, four-star hotel in Senegal and the Gambia, and you may see one or two in Ghana. And then you see a thing that say One Africa or the Carrick Hotel, which are bed and breakfast. Uh, that's the purpose of having links and names to everything that we deal with. And uh, we have to also understand that some of them have a luxury aspect to it, but it's not designed for you just to have this luxury experience in Africa. It's a journey that compiles of many different things, uh, sometimes long driving, going from airports to airports, moving around. Now, may, you may have people and they're chasing you down, trying to sell you things. You know, it's a bunch of things that's going on. So we just want everyone to be clear, to be prepared, be ready, and be professional so we can do this. Um, I'm also talking about this minor issues that I've had over the years with individuals who literally felt like it was just okay. Send me the, a bunch of money to go to Africa with them and not be clear about anything. And then when they get to the country, give us a hard time or cause problems. and then don't even understand what's going on and then wonder why the bus left them and you know things like that. I am a fluent uh, communicator and even when you travel with me we have books and we go to all schedules the night before and even in the morning and it's a situation where we all can be prepared ahead of time and I take pride on making sure everything is organized to the highest level and I'm a competitive person so anything anyone else is out there doing I'm looking at it working on what we're doing on any tour that we're traveling on where we see there's any minor glitches or certain things that we can do better. Um, we're always working on it. So that's something I set up for uh, me and my staff to be able to just really just make sure that all of us are good. I got to always uh, point that out. Once you scroll down somewhere, you're going to see a link to the videos and photos. So all the trips we have with the exception of Senegal and the Gambia, you can see all aspects of the previous journeys before. And this is also definitely for the new people, but also for people who are traveling with us. That way you're clear on certain things. And some people who may not want to travel and do certain itineraries and maybe you want to stay back at the hotel, all of those things are fine. You know, we just have to get in a situation where we're clear and we communicate with each other. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to click on one of our links here to travel into Senegal and the Gambia next. I'm going to click on that link and it's going to take us to our site, africafrica.org, and it's going to load up the Senegal and the Gambia page. Now, this page represents a lot of the same as all other pages. Like I was mentioning, tour overview, itinerary, general terms, visa requirements, if there are visa requirements, because South Africa and Senegal doesn't have visa requirements, only Ghana and the Gambia. Uh, departure reminder list and improving your immune system. And that's really what I want to talk about since we've been dealing with this uh, stupidity of COVID-19. And I'm, it's like everyone is an expert on and all of this stuff and everything. And it's just becoming where I just can't even hear anymore. 
And every time I look up, whoever is playing with the internet numbers and, and responsible for, for putting numbers in the system, is just putting numbers and putting numbers because there's no way any of these people can get in, any of these accurate counts of even when people die from certain things. As we prepare for this change in the voyage to Africa, let's take time to reflect on the biological, physical needs of our bodies with a holistic approach. I humbly offer this compilation of information in how we can take care of our body slash temple and enhance our overall immunity. In addition, for participants and parents who wish to take immunization shots and tablets, they can be ordered from your local country health department through our travel nurses and so on. Um, as far as those things, if you're looking to do that, that's fine, that's up to you. Um, we're going to go more into natural health. So uh, the immune system. The immune system is part of our body that recognizes viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, foreign bodies, and signals uh, the brain to activate immune process. It includes the thymus, the spleen, lymphatic system, bone, marrow, white blood cells, antibodies, and hormones. Each element works in harmony with other elements of our body in order to keep us healthy. Supporting your immune system may help with everything from frequent cold to arthritis to cancer in our travel. Our physical health would help our ability to mentally and spiritually grow as we return. Daily advice before, during, and after your journey. Eat colorful meals regularly. Enjoy as many fresh fruits and vegetables as you can. The more different colors, the more variety of nutrients you digest. Drink water all day, at least 8 to 16 ounces throughout the day. Uh, rest your mind and body. Get solid rest of 5 to 8 hours per night. That's in a quiet space. No radio, no TV to infect your dreams carefully, not to oversleep. And again, these are just things that are being shared for us to all process, not telling people this is what you have to do. But open our minds back to the science of uh, health, wellness, and nutrition uh, to fix any kind of whatever uh, they say that's out there. Set your body, uh, set your biological clock uh, uh, to that of the sun. Wake up at sunrise and go to sleep soon after sunset. Um, exercise, walk, run, stretch, swim, dance, uh, till you break a sweat at least two to three times a week. Be mindful to your posture and how you carry yourself. Walk with your body. Don't drag it along like a burden. Avoid excess stress from internal or external forces, mentally, physically, emotional, environmentally, communally. Stress can compromise your immune system. Breath. Use this life force to help keep you centered. Breathe fully and breathe deeply. Affirm the positive throughout prayer, meditation, visualization, and work slash sound. Nutritional support before, during, and after your journey. And I'm just going to go through some of these notes. In addition to a well-rounded fresh food diet, the following are a number of herbs and supplements that can enhance our immunity. Garlic, uh, vitamin C, charcoal, part arco, echinacea are in my humble estimation the most important for us to consume while in Africa. Tea tree oil is a multi-use oil good for uh, scratches, fungus, bites, and repelling mosquitoes. Cinchonella is good for that as well. So just uh, give us some good ideas of things that we can process and how we can fight anything that's out there, you know, uh, SARS, Ebola, um, malaria, um, COVID-19, common cold, flu, and things like that because I feel we live in a world where we're conscious about our immune system and conscious about our health and wellness. Whatever man-made things can, you know, folks who make things and just, you know, wipe people out. You know, this uh, gives you the strongest chance to uh, make yourself healthy and in a wellness state and less chance of getting sick. No, this is not uh, 
a prescription, please consult your own body uh, to know what's good for you. You may also talk to your family about genetic medical history and your medical or naturopathic doctor. And that's one thing I always recommend to individuals because I always tell everyone I'm not a doctor and I don't want uh, anyone to say, oh, Bomani said this and Bomani said that. What you're doing is you're going back to, like I was saying, the science of health, wellness, and nutrition and feeding your body right and being active and reducing yourself from as many things as possible is happening to you, especially when you're in Ghana and you're in a different climate or you're in Senegal, the Gambia, South Africa, and you know you may have to adjust your body to the, the climate. Uh, so all of this is getting your mind prepared. Uh, so some of the things um, that we talked about, uh, garlic uh, helps to fortify the immune system and support circulation in the body. Available fresh, cooked juice or in capsule form. Ingest in large amount of this daily will help reduce the incidence of mosquitoes biting while in Africa. For overall health, I recommend that uh, you consume at least a clove of garlic each day. Studies suggest that you can get similar benefits from cooked garlic if you first let it sit out a while after peeling. When garlic is peeled, an enzyme, a linus, um, begins a series of chemical reactions that creates beneficial health effects. So move to the next one, vitamin C. When you need extra immune support, I recommend that you take 500 to 1,000 milligrams every two hours, even without the onset of flu or cold. Two milligrams of uh, vitamin C along with uh, bio, bioflavonoid and other uh, synergistic uh, nutrients like vitamin E. Uh, when vitamin C is taken with zinc, propolis, and elderberry extract a good daily maintenance dose um, is 100 milligrams. So I have friends and people that are into health and wellness to a high level. So these are some of the things that uh, they just proposed and we've been sharing this for a long time. And it just basically open your mind up to constantly so you think about the different things that you can do to put yourself in a wellness state. So it's a very interesting article, um, Pa D Arco. Uh, is an incredibly versatile herb and antibiotic, antifungal, immunostimulant, uh, and anti-inflammatory, and anti-tumor prosperities. This herb has been used with candida and other fungal problems, staph infections, viral infections, including herpes and skin problems, including eczema and pasaurolis, um uh, historically, it was uh, used to treat leukemia, diabetes, and cancer, available in an extract, tincture, capsule, and or in a tea form. Charcoal is used to relieve pain pressure caused by excess gas in the stomach and intestine, uh, diarrhea, and indigestion. Uh, take as directed by label and full glass of water. Do not mix with other medicine as it um, uh, binds to them and reduce their effectiveness to benefit it also by buying poisonous substance and carry them out of the body. So these are things that you literally can bring like the charcoal if you went to Ghana or um, the Gambia and maybe you feel like you're developing kind of malaria type symptoms and things like that. These are the things that you know you'd want to have to help yourself and then also we're dealing with a, a natural country so um, I'll go as far as saying drink a whole lot of coconut water, a whole lot, of, and then eat the coconut jelly inside, and you know, that itself, a lot of mangoes, and things like that you know, will keep your body strong. Purple coneflower, echinacea, angus typhoidia. Uh, this helps increase a certain response to the immune system. Powered echinacea capsules can be found in most health stores. Recommend dosage are given on uh, the product label. You can obtain some of the best results with echinacea by using liquid plant extracts uh, for adults, uh, five to 10 drops in one quarter cup of water uh, taken five times daily is generally recommended. Note certain individuals don't uh, seem to benefit from echinacea, including hyperactive uh, people, those who are extremely sensitive to environment, uh, populants and chemicals 
an AIDS patient. So again, uh, there's a lot of things we're listing and this talking about, and uh, it's thrown out a collective amount of things uh, that we can all consciously say, you know, I'm going to bring some of this, I'm going to do this a little bit more so I can build up my immune system and build up my energy and strength. Tea tree oil uh, is a natural antiseptic, a germicide, antibacterial, fungicide. Many people use tea tree oil for athlete's foot, cold and flu, oral thrust, cold sores and canker sores, toothache and gum infections, ringworm, candida, head lice or louse, cleanser addictive, uh, gum problems, mosquito bites, bugs, repellent, cockroaches, deer, fleas, mouth ulcers, herpes, cuts, abrasion after shave, sunburn, anorectal or vaginal yeast infection, unwanted body odor, acne, toenail infection, and many other uses. Uh, citronella, oil of citronella is a volatile liquid, all derived from dried cultivated grasses. It works by repelling animals and insects without harming or killing them. It has a distinctive odor which repels certain animals. It is available as an additive to spray lotions, candles, cholera's, and tablets, as well as pure extracted essential oil. And everyone that's uh, with me on the call, you can follow either on the screen sharing or literally when you go to any of your tour links on the website, you can click on it and you'll see the same consistent article which is on every link, improving your immune system. Our, uh, zinc, um, it promotes immune function, 123 milligram zinc, gluconate uh, lozenge, every two wake up hour after a initial double dose has been found to prove symptoms relief. While the only side effect associated with zinc is its bad taste, this uh, routine shouldn't be continued any longer than a week. Excessive zinc can eventually create a copper deficiency and weaken the immune system. The recommended daily dose of zinc when taken with vitamin C, propolis, and elderberry extract is 10 milligrams. B propolis. Um, uh, research shows that this waxy resin used by bees to waterproof their hives have immune enhancing properties. The recommended daily dose when taken with elderberry extracted zinc and vitamin C is 75 milligrams. Elderberry extract. The active ingredients in elderberries have been found to protect your cells from harmful invaders. I recommend taking four uh, grams daily and elderberry extract into conjunction with vitamin C, uh, propolis, and zinc. Uh, vitamin A. Um, initial dose as high as 100,000 units daily can be very beneficial. The dose should then be dropped back to 10,000 to 25,000 uh, IU uh, daily to avoid problems and toxicity. Turmeric uh, from the root has been used uh, for centuries in India, China for a variety of health concerns including boosting the immune system. Grapefruit seed extract. Uh, drinking three to four drops per eight ounce of water per day helps maintain immune system function. This extract is also a good remedy for cleansing your sinuses. Uh, one, first in a clean sink or large saucer, add one quarter to one third cup of salt to a quart of fairly hot water. Once the salt has dissolved, immerse your face into water for five to 10 seconds. Repeat this three or four times Allow water to run into your nose, but keep your mouth and eyes closed. Two, nasal rinse by adding a few drops of grapefruit seed extract to a quarter cup of warm water. Cup a small amount of water in the palm of your hand, and then lean over and gently inhale the water nasal passage. Do this two or three times before bed and first thing in the morning. You may monetarily feel a very slight uh, tingling or burning sensation as the extract coats the nasal and sinus passages. 
Once it gets uh, to these hard to reach areas, it can begin to eliminate the harmful irritants. Right, and uh, I know it's a long process of information, but um, it's just a good compilation, and we're almost uh, finished. Uh, shark cartilage. Long time alternative readers know that it's been written about the benefits of shark cartilage for years. Among its uh, many beneficial properties, shark cartilage helps support your overall health immune system function. Recommend 100 milligrams daily. Slippery elm. This herb has mucus eliminating properties and helps uh, promote respiratory health. 20 milligrams daily is recommended. Uh, peppermint powder helps support immune functions. 17 milligrams a day is recommended. Eucalyptus oil. You can take 2 milligrams daily along with the other herbal immune boosters mentioned here. Unadi uh, gato slash cat's claws. Many have um, experienced such wonderful results with the Yuna, the gato that is now considered equal, if not superior, to the world's foremost immune fortifying herb, echinacea, golden seal, par de arco, garlic, and Siberian ginseng. It has also been compared favorably with shark cartilage and caprylic uh, acid. It is particularly beneficial to the immune system digestive and structural system. So family, I just literally went through the information on improving our immunity uh, before we travel. For those who travel with us and they're thinking about or feel any way paranoid about COVID-19 or any of the stuff going on, Ebola, SARS or things like that, uh, it's what it is. We live in a world of, of these situations and we have to do the best we can do. Uh, but uh, want us to all still be open to travel and understand that we are doing a divine mission and the ancestors have, you know, have blessed us and make sure that we're good. I've uh, been traveling to the continent of Africa since 2004 and you know, and every time I go and come back I always say the ancestors just got our back because everything always works out on every single trip. Uh, so definitely thankful for that and uh, we're going to always keep moving strong to now, to do this business and eventually we will be in Ghana where everything will be running from my headquarters there in Ghana on our community. Uh, so um, nothing will change much. Only thing will be you have more of a 24-7 access to talking, emailing and communicating with someone with even a better response than what I'm organizing. All right, so family, the information that I've been talking about is the same information we've been, we have sent. And all of it is there in the newsletter, and it's on the website. Uh, for those who are on Facebook, um, and I do have a topic list um, that we don't always just go through all the way. I wanted to just really just pick the bill in the immune system or improving the immune system part out of it and talk more about that than anything else. Uh, so once you even scroll down from the newsletter uh, past all the topics, you're going to see links for all of our Facebook pages and all of our Facebook uh, group pages, you're literally going to be able to click on the link. And then once you click on the link, uh, you'll be able to add yourself to one of those Facebook pages. And it's another way for you to ask questions, share information, especially when you come back from the trip and you want to post certain things. And it's um, a connection into where I post all of our updates and conference calls, the recordings, and photos from that specific tour. Scroll down and see a history of all our tours and all of our social links. So family, I don't want to drag this on to too much since if anyone took some time out to read through it, they'll be clear all the way. So what I want to do is open up questions uh, to where uh, it doesn't always have to be uh, in reference to improving the immune system. It could be in reference to any of the other information, um, especially since we're going to Senegal and Gambia and to get to Gambia. Everyone has to have a Gambia visa, which once you click on the link, it gives you sample visa information and all the details. And I have a specific nice email uh, that deals with the visas for the Gambia and also for Ghana. And I always tell everyone what you do is print everything out, read it completely, and you may want to read it a few times, jot some notes down uh, or some questions, and then be prepared to call me or email me. And trust, I have time. And I'm always open, don't have no problem 
we're going over any of this information with anyone. The only thing that I'll always ask is did you look through and read through all the information? And it's not an insult. It just helps me be able to connect with you better as far as how to you know, what we're looking at and what we're going through. So let me take us off of lecture mode and put us back in mute mode. And family, once you're in mute mode, all you have to do is uh, press star six to unmute yourself and then give your name, where you're calling from, and what trip you're going on. And then we'll just go through your answers and then we'll close in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. All right, our family, the line is open for anyone who have any questions about these uh, four countries we're traveling to on the next three Africa tours that we have scheduled for this year. July, November, and December. And then also the one that we have scheduled for next year, which is uh, in April for Senegal and Gambia. Uh, we do have other schedules coming up, but we have to close out on these schedules before we add more. Uh, go ahead. Um. Hi, Bomani. This is Kim from California. I'm on the Ghana uh, December trip. When do you think we'll get our tickets? Uh, for December, the ticket is, um, well, first of all, um, uh, all the tickets have to be paid for at one time. Uh, so some people have paid all their money and some people have not. But uh, what oh. we do is uh, October 15th is when the, the final balance is due. So after that, um, and even before that, uh, we'll send an email which is for you to log into your Delta Airlines ticket, e-ticket. And then once everyone logs in and verify everything is correct and everything looks good, uh, then the goal is always about 45 days before we travel to have these tickets uh, taken care of. Uh, so you'll be able to get access to it uh, about two months and you'll be able to have your paid in full ticket about 45 uh, days before we travel. Okay, so it's at that time that I should um, let Delta know what my TSA pre-approved number is? You know, once you get your ticket, um, you can actually add your sky miles. So that's when you can do a lot of other things. Um, Okay. And it's, it okay. gives you a full login and your booking to where you're you're selecting seats, you're selecting meals and things like that. And we definitely will go over those things uh, in full detail, so you won't have a problem with it. Okay, my last question is: So far, I know December's a ways off. How many people do you have scheduled for that trip now? Right now, on the list, 32, and got a bunch of people on standby. And the reason why they oh, wow, standby, that's a big group. Yeah, we had no choice but to merge the group, but we have they've taken up to 42, 43 people. So even if so, we'll work out what we have to uh, work out and um, and see how things go. But uh, we're prepared for all of uh, the folks. Uh, so you know, we definitely can keep everyone posted on that situation. As far as the standby people, uh, they just literally, and I respect what they're doing. They're trying to wait to see what goes, what's going on with the airlines, what's going on with these countries that we got to fly through, and you know, and that's why I'm looking forward to us completing our Senegal and Gambia tour, so we can have a better feel of what's really going on out there as the international world of travel opens back up. It's supposed to be set for like sometime the end of next month, because I was even trying to work out a June date for certain, certain people and. It's just it's painful with the airlines because it's it's like none of us know what's going on and none of us can even predict it. So um, we're just all hoping that we have some clarity by sometime, hopefully no later than next month. Okay, thank you. All right, absolutely. All right, family. Uh, next person. Hey, Bumani. This is Deborah. All right, greeting, my sister. How are you? Are you better? I am well. My question is, uh, what kind of feedback and updates are you getting in terms of the health issues in Africa, South Africa, Ghana, Gambia, wherever? What, what's the dialogue? Um, uh, they're not really have much dialogue there. They're basically doing the same. They're following the same the stupidity of America and Europe. So whatever America and Europe say, that's what they're doing. But um, as far as reported cases and people dying, like Ghana, um, 18 Uganda, zero, and a few other countries, zero. South Africa um, is a little more high in situations. They have, no one has really released any kind of, you know, protocol for anything other than, you know, once things open up a little bit, people can carry on with their, their lives. But 
you know, uh, just forcing people to do certain things and social distancing. There's no social distancing on these planes and these buses and things that we're doing. So it's, um, you just have to all be prepared to flow with that energy of things. And, you know, the, the best health thing I can always recommend is what I just talked about, which is building your immune system and using the source mm -hmm. of that detail to be in the best health and wellness. And naturally, whenever we go anywhere, our goal is to always keep away from the sick folks. And if people want to wear masks or want to wear gloves and things like that, it's up to the individual. But uh, literally, honestly, just waiting for any kind of reports from any of the countries once they open up as far as uh, protocol. I'm always open to reading the stuff or getting it from their website, updating myself and sharing it with all of us. But I think all of us are kind of like in standby. Uh, thank you for that, Bomani. The other question is, when you look at the immune system building process, do you have a recommended time frame to start? I mean, we should be doing that now anyway, but the full-fledged, like, this is the focus, you know, with stress and herbs. and So are you looking at more like two months before the trip, the end of the summer, like really go fortified to yeah, build out? Well, definitely 30 days before you travel. Um, to be as effective as possible. But what you do also do, and you recommend for us to get back a, get back to a way of life of our ancestors. I'm from Jamaica, and um, people before me, most of them come from Ghana, um, and it's you know it's I don't know any history of even any health problems in my entire family, extended family, and uh, and that legacy, and even in Jamaica like predate the modern time, um, you know, especially before the last few decades. Uh, you didn't have these problems, same thing other Caribbean countries, and same thing, you know, in, in America, uh, but in America you're more accessible to the fast food and the, the drugs and the, uh, the, uh, the, the hormones and the fruits, vegetables, and then uh, chemtrails in the air and poison and um, bio-warfare and stuff like that. So that has kind of changed the game a little bit. Uh, but no, um, I always would recommend that, um, and you know, when you go to the countries, a lot of coconut water and mango juice is always good. Uh, but we just have to just do the best we can do. If you know, if a, if a group of lunatics out there want to put things in the air and poison us, you know, we're gonna be you know in a detrimental situation. Um, so, but um, I just believe in in us moving forward and us getting up to living and focusing on positively, just knowing that. We're gonna be okay deep in our heart that you know because we are righteous and wonderful people and our ancestors have our back and it's kind of like maybe silly to some people but you know that's the best faith that people like myself have um, without depending on these people vaccination and whatever because you know it's like vaccination always scared me because I'm like you can you can sterilize a whole population by saying you're giving them this vaccination it's gonna protect them from every single terrible thing out there. Um, so, and I think um, our African continent has been a very big victim of that. Uh, so, let's not let's do our best uh, as we can do. Thank you. Uh, next caller, can you um, introduce yourself and your question? I have a few people mics open. I'm gonna have to start hitting the mute button. I just need someone to speak, and then once that person finishes, the next person, and we just keep on going through it. I want to be able to answer everyone's uh, question. I family, I didn't really have a big presentation other than the health and wellness, and I try to just skip through certain things and focus on it that way. Over a period of doing, you know, like six months of conference call, we have covered like all of the the core aspect of things in a recording. You know, at the same time, to its repetitive information, and for the, for the most part, I'm available for you know group questions and things like that, and also um, uh, any kind of updates. All right, well, the line will be open for a few more minutes, so anyone with questions, just unmute yourself um, by pressing star six, and then introduce yourself and ask your question, and I'll answer it directly as best as I can. And for those with us shy, you can just email me later, um, and for those who just need to call me, you can call me. It's honestly all good. <clears throat> I'm here throughout the week working on our Africa tourism investments and business and technology operations, so that's what I do all day communicate with people and take care of business, uh, work on reservations, accommodations, and you know, keep my business group organized. 
Greetings, Ramani. How are you? Uh, greetings. Uh, I'm doing well. About self. This is this Sheila is calling from Atlanta. Um, I am scheduled to travel to Senegal and Gambia in July. And my question is, I just wanted to know, when can we select our seats? I'm trying to get an update on that. Uh, remember, I sent everybody a paid and full ticket. Right. I remember that. Yeah. So what you have to do is follow the directions and log into the, the Delta Air France system and then choose your seats. So uh, everything was uh, sent to you in that email with your information. Okay, I got and it. If you ever get stuck or something, you can you know call me uh, throughout the week and I can connect with you and even walk you through it. But uh, everything is active on those uh, tickets. We're literally just waiting for my tour guide to just give us a final update and say, hey, um, and I rebook you guys' rooms because the hotels are back open, and I rebook okay. all of these things, and then we'll be, then we we'll, we have a little bit of money we have to send them, and we'll be ready to go. So they we're just really excited about it. But yeah, go ahead and uh, uh, arrange this stuff uh, as you need it, and I would recommend definitely doing it before 30 days before we travel. Okay, thank you kindly. Appreciate it. Uh, absolutely. And taking questions on our Africa tours for this year and next year. All right, so family, once again, I'm hoping that everyone that's traveling with us, uh, especially since this crazy stuff has been going on, take your time, read to this improving your immune system, and also do some research on some of the uh, things that's listed. There are a lot of things listed and talked about, and definitely no professional at th those things. And, uh, I kind of stick to my core things I kind of do which is a whole lot of just being active and just as a vegetarian diet as I can you know, deal with, I do eat fish. And, uh, but I'm always looking to go to tropical countries because there's things that just grow there from the ground that just works perfect. And my favorite is a whole lot of coconut water and coconut um, jelly. Since there's a bunch of things I can't answer because I can't tell the future and everything, and I just have to go by what is going on with the different countries we're doing business with. Um, I will post updates here and there on the WhatsApp group chat um, every once in a while, so you can just look out for that one. And anyone that's traveling with us that's not on one of those group chats, uh, uh, let me know. My goal is always to have those group chats organized and just add everyone that comes on the journey and just keep you know, communicating. That is uh, all I really have. Uh, other than that, I'll just be going over the same information that's on the website, the Facebook page, the YouTube page, and so on. Anyone who's new to uh, what we're doing, just take your time and read through uh, the information. Uh, yes, I'm a person that have more information than most people, but it's what it is. There's no really summarizing anything. It's just taking your time and going from one article to the next and being clear and that's the best thing I can uh, recommend and uh, definitely want everyone to always be clear on all terms and uh, also be prepared to communicate if you have any issues with the tour schedules or you know, emergency come up things change um, communicate with me so we can just work it out right away all right so line is open other than that, uh, for those who are traveling with us uh, to Senegal and Gambia, um, if you want to bring some school supplies with you, we'll make sure to get it out to some of the children. We don't have an organized schedule for those things, but we definitely always want to bring certain things as we are always open to building new relationships. So I don't know what school or orphanage will be open and things like that, so, but our goal is always to find something somewhere and build it. Just like on our Ghana schedule, we have a consistent um, two places we go to, uh, one outside of um, Accra in the mountains, uh, Trinity Home Academy, and then Coma Academy uh, of Arts and Science in Elmina. And then um, I still have to talk with our folks in the, the community where, we belong, where, we, where we're getting our land and find out about the orphanage because I do have um, the two suitcases here of stuff I would love to bring to them as we come into their community and you know, I'm one of the people that believe, you know, when you show up into someone's community and you're looking to do business and get land and things like that, 
you show a lot of love. That way you are part of the energy because the people are your protector and the people are your family and they are your connection. And uh, we're all to connect together and look after each other and look after each other. Uh, so we lead by example. So for those that travel with me to Ghana, uh, we have at least three locations and I'll be pushing more of the school supplies uh, as time goes along. And, um, and then for those who don't want to burden themselves with school supplies, if you want to do financial donation, that's also good. What we do is collect the money right there on the spot and giving it to the head of the school or orphanage or the people in charge of that uh, operation. I said, I'm going to just this, this, this open back up for last minute questions. And if anyone don't have any questions, I'll close the call and then just, you know, just think about emailing me, calling me, reaching out to me, uh, whatever you need to do. But know that uh, you always have access to information. So since everybody is shy and the majority of people that um, we have in all of these groups are not on the call, uh, it's what it is. I will always try to do my best to create schedules and information, but that's, you know, I'm doing the best I can do. And um, you can also check it with other people who do this kind of business. Uh, but I feel like I've done above and beyond as far as structuring everything and creating things available. So uh, let me close the call. And everyone, you have a wonderful uh, rest of your Sunday night. For the folks travel me to Senegal and Gambia, look forward to seeing everyone and connecting with everyone in two months to this day, almost 60 days to this date. So we all should start working on mentally prepared. And I know this COVID-19 stuff is very slowing down our process. But hopefully 30 days from today, we have a whole lot more information about what's going on and that everything is going to be good. So family, appreciate your energy and thanks for everybody's support and everything. And um, we'll keep in touch and uh, keep everybody posted. And we meet everyone. Mm -hmm. Good, right, night. Good night. You have a Good wonderful night, everyone. Evening. Good night. Enjoy. Have a great evening. Your pre-summer. Good night.